Uh, AIE Bichelle. What? What is? Hi, Hanato. I don't know. Hi, Hanato. I'm so sorry. I gave you so many great intros, and then my thing wasn't accepting. I don't know why it wouldn't let me. You, what is? Hi. Uh, you know, it don't matter. This ain't this ain't uh, matrimony. This is macaroni. God, are you? Who are? Who is this? Who is? What is happening? <laughs> now, I I'm just trying to make um. You know, I know that 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 your boy um, Bahabi Green is came from um, is came from San Bernardino. Yeah, he's from the hood, God. He's from the yeah. Hood. So I'm trying to make him to feel comfortable with my with my um, I have the Manchester Society sweater. <gasps> that I love that movie. That was given to me by Kane himself before he was passed away. For her, I yeah, I love that movie. Hey, any, exact. Anybody want a cheeseburger? You, you remember what the crackhead said before he wanted to get the cheeseburger? Oh, no. I, Do you I remember that one? I Karen? don't remember that line, no. Well, you know, you could check a page out of the crackhead's book. The uh, old dog didn't want to didn't want to give him any uh, crack. Okay. And you know what he said to him? What? To, to curry his favor. What did he say? He said, listen, my brother. I, he go, please, I suck your dick. You understand? I'm... So he's, oh, hold on. Let me make sure. People out here, how's my face? How's You the... look good. I know I, I thought somebody said bad internet connection, but you look fine to me. I do look fine to me. <laughs> I look, I look fine. Fine. I'm look, hey, I'm look fine to me for her. No, well. Me and my girls, Ooh. I don't know how many of you out there actually use that, but I actually use that. We'll be like, he's fine, F-O-I-N-E. Yeah, he's fine. You remember this too? Nobody remember this in, in, unless you're a certain uh, age. They'd be like, I, I remember black people on the West Coast, if if like someone was hung about something, was someone was hung about something or whatever, or you got dissed or whatever, they'd be like, ooh, he molded. Ooh, you molded. I didn't hear molded too much. <laughs> yeah, you, you got molded. Oh, you molded. We're gonna see if 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 Bobby Bobby B. Green he remember people being molded for him. Being molded. Yeah, I'm from Boston. Outside Wait. of Boston. I'm, I'm well, that's a totally different. But you know, um, I see people saying KB looking fine as fuck. Do people call me some kind of K? <laughs> Is that some kind of like a uh, um, um, code name for Renato Laranja? No, it's it's actually Karen Bryant, abbreviated KB. I never even considered that one. I gotta start thinking about other people. Uh, yeah, the time when Rose was on, people were sending the roses a lot. You misunderstood that. Well, it's hard for me because you know I I'm get you know probably the amount holes has been alive. The I've been more. Uh, famous, you know, and so I'm I'm used to people get, sending me hoses, you know, and and sending me a lock of their hair and sending fan mail and all that kind of stuff. God, are you okay? Okay, okay, but that that actually reminds me uh, that while we before we wait for Bobby here, we should let people know that uh, we have actually had three champions on our show. We've had we had Glover Teixeira on with us. Yeah, fresh off his win. At UFC 267, we've had Rose Nama Yunus on high. Are you okay with her? Yeah, yeah. No, I just, hold on. I'm trying to get into the light more because. Carol Ann. Carol Ann came to the light. God is in his holy chapel now. Hold on. Fuck. Okay. You know, this chair is so expensive. It's so heavy. Oh, God, are you? Ah. Uh, maybe you can enjoy more of some of the properties here now. <laughs> um, hey, I don't even remember what I was just talking about. Who cares wanna... what you was talking about? Look at the people want to see that one. <laughs> it, it, we could say, be silent. We could be silent the whole time, and they're gonna the more numbers gonna come in. Look at that one. Oh God, are you? Hey, what did you think of Max versus uh, versus uh, Yair? Were you able to watch it? Because well, let me were... tell you something. While people like you was busy fucking around and enjoying watching fights, enjoying yourself. I was working the fight. I was at I work. was busy work. I, I was slaving, at work. Slaving over a hot marijuana tournament. Uh, while you was 
busy enjoying yourself in the air conditioned studio. Uh, I was choking on marijuana smoke. I, I, I was at work. I just have, you know, to I see this guy, these fantastic job. Um, listen, I wish, listen, okay. You want me to speak softer? You know, I, I, so, some, some people is, um, you know, sometimes I'm trying to help the people by speaking louder for you guys so you can enjoy that one. But you know what? Uh -huh. Fuck you guys now. They said, can you speak a little low, uh, louder? I think it was sarcastic. I don't think they meant for me to speak uh, louder. Oh, they were probably talking about me because I'm probably yelling. Cause I'm no, no, I'm the one who's probably yelling because I, I, I have to yell over these. I'm so used to yelling over these light-skinned chicken heads. Like where they barking all the time, and I gotta go. Listen, God, I shut the fuck up. And I tried to talk over them because they can. I can get a, a, a edge word, a, a word wise in there, and 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 then you know. But I sometimes I have a flashbacks, and then I see you, and I think, oh, this chicken head. And then I go, wait a second, I, maybe maybe I don't need to to yell. I'm not. I'm. Hey, I'm not a chicken head. Hey, at the tournament, I did go. Don't give me that look. I went to the, uh, remember, I came by uh, your job after my job. And yeah, how come, if you're not a chicken head, how come you came by my job and you was eating sunflower seed off the ground like this? <laughs> and your chicken claws, your chicken claws was scrunched into you, into you, your pumps or whatever, and the claw. Every claw was in there, and then the one claw was over on the side, scraping the ground. God, are you? God, are you? Um, didn't somebody pick a fight with you? We were at the veterans. It was a veterans. Oh event. yeah, I, yeah. I was actually heavy. telling Angela about this on my uh, on our on our what had happened was podcast. That all kidding aside, that that event um, actually really really like moved me like it was really amazing to see uh the veterans of the see various me out there no no not to see you to see the various veterans and some of them have now uh suffered wounds from either what either while they were defending our country or or from ptsd and and different issues they were dealing with but like Listen, it, was re it was really cool to see all, everybody on the mats just like first of all everything. i'm a veteran too you know um of what i work I was part of Delta uh, Force, you know. Uh, Delta I was Force a, is a movie. No, Delta. I was. It's not. I have nothing to do with a movie. I used to, for a, a hot minute there. I was a. Um, I used to do a, a, like a a, a, steward, a steward, you know, like a, a flight attendant stuff. I accrued a lot of miles on there, you know, in, on the air. I was one of the first mile high. <laughs> Delta. Um, but you, you know, let's not talk about this. Ain't about Delta. You were a flight um, attendant. Never mind that. You know, time wasn't always so easy for us uh, fighter. You know, we had to we had to supplement that one. You know, I had to I had to um, to slang peanut and Bloody Marys and apple juice. And I was one of the one who invent. You know the thing where they give you a cup of ice and then they pour half the soda and they save the one to give to the next uh, person so they don't have to waste the whole soda. Right. I'm the one who created that one. Thanks. Anyway, who cares? Um, I'm just trying to look at you know if your if your internet is like if your lips are synced up to your words. Oh, for you? Yeah, actually, for real. It's fucked up. No, it I think it's fine. okay. No, it no, that's right. Me. You I thought I was doing like a, a um, you thought it was like a um, dub or whatever. Yeah, you almost looked like you were in a bad old film. Like a Chinese kung fu. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, you I remember the ones they are like... Chinese films, and yes, they are kung fu. So yes. Yeah. It makes you teach me Chinese kung fu. I want to learn. What is that from? Uh, that's from Shaolin versus Lama. And the same one where the guy go, uh, you you. Uh, your movements are like that of a street fighter. It's too easy for me to trip you up. It's an Aussie guy? 
they always try th those. A lot of the ones is either New Zealand or Aussie who did the dubbings back then. Oh, got it. Got for some, it, got it. For whatever he's in. And then they have the sniffling guy go, <laughs> hey, master. I see a Bobby Green was, was, was in there. Is he here? Okay. Where's my Bobby Green? Um, I want to see the Bobby Green. Is he, is he? Well, he just needs to send the request. You know, it makes me think of me and Bobby. Maybe you don't know that because he, he was, no, he, you all got to send that one. No, I told him. No, I mean, I you got to. You gotta check him because maybe he don't realize that. I told okay, well, Bobby. Yeah, you might have told him, but who knows what kind of this guy might be high off of, of off of natural medicine for all we know. He might have forgot that one. Uh, this guy got a lot on his plate. I, well, I, I, I don't want I don't want to mother him. I told him how to do it already. I, I listen, you you don't want to mother him, but you wanna smother him like you smother me, Poha. But I don't let that one. One night a week, Hanato. One night a week. For like Listen, you're smothering me. How is that you? smothering? You're suffocating me, Poha. God, you should be a black belt. What what belt you got? You 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 smu you suffocate me more than any jujitsu person in the history of jujitsu karate. I actually used to do taekwondo, and I. No, you used to do chai ball with no, that black. No, I did taekwondo, and is it yellow then green or no? It's green then yellow, right? So you said, oh look, Bobby Greeny. Listen to your Uncle Hanats. Don't listen to that light-skinned witch, that Creole <laughs> witch. Listen, it, you got to go to the thing that look like a camera, okay? It looked like a, a old-school camera, Poha, and you got to press that one. That's the it's one that right next request. to where there's a comment button. And you Never hit mind button. that. You don't need to uh, woman explain that one to us. You just told me to send him a text. Just because he's Afro-American, you had to explain it's it to him? It's not just because anything. I'm pretty sure he figured if it he out. Was, if he was Korean or if he was Japanese. Oh, God. Hey! hey. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. Hold on. Bach be green. Like you need some light, my brother. You need some light. You know what you look like right now? You look like Brother Darkness. <laughs> you... You're feeding into the stereotype, brother. Da oh, here we Whoa. go. Look at that. Oh, God, are you? Let the ladies to see that. Yeah, you know you're trying to tantalize the ladies. Closer. You look good, but we need to see your face. Oh, man, I'm sorry. There we go. There we go. See, this young blood wore about five different chains. He's trying to outdo you, Uncle Hinach. God, are you? <laughs> but I can't have him. I got the emergency oh, parachute. Shit. Look at that one. Oh, God, are you? Uh oh, okay. don't, don't, don't kill me now. Don't flex on me now. Yeah, you you never seen nothing like that on your life. It's too expensive. <laughs> hey, but he was right though. He was right. I did not know how to join the live. And you told me how to do something, but he was like, nah, I pushed that button with the camera. I was like, okay, I pushed it. And then it said send request. I was like, oh shit, he just made it so easy. See? Well, See, I know how to we speak the same language, my brother. Real shit, real shit. Yeah, he'll talk. He'll talk. Look, I even wore the San Bernardino uh um, Manchester Society sweater. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, I heard you talking about old dog earlier. Of course, we was talking about old dog. Of course, I, because she, I was saying that she needs to take a page out of the crackhead book, because the crackhead was at least offer old dog a blog job. Be. Yeah, I was like, that's what I heard you talking. About. I was like, hold on a second now. Yeah, yeah hold yeah. on a second. Now. <laughs> it's true. I mean, God, are you? You could offer worse. I mean, what you know? Like, I, I, that's fair. I care. What are you gonna do for me? Well, that dep that all depends, God. I what have you did for me lately? Anyway, so <laughs> ladies, ladies, take a look at at, at Bah Bahabi Green. Wait, you single? <laughs> no, no. Ah, you have a wifey? Um, I'm gonna get married, but not yet. Oh, so what? okay, so there's still so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> So, ladies, there's still a chance for her. Um, but I tried to tell Karen Branch that, you know, she's trying to always put her hooks in me and try to, like, get me to commit to to doing this show all the time. And I said to her, you know, this ain't matrimony. This is macaroni. Right. You understand? I, I hear it. Okay. You dig? I dig. Okay. Um, tell me so, where, anyway. Where, who is you and where are you from? Tell oh, me about oh, yourself. I want to know about you. Well, you want to know about me? See, you've been in San, you've been in San Bernardino for so long. You didn't, you didn't saw that you before, you, before you got into wrestling and and boxing and all this stuff. Um, at at what is that the school, the high school wrestling you went? But, Miller but, and Fontana. Fontana, you know, before that stuff. He's a big deal, Bobby. 
yeah, I was busy, uh, you know, laying down the foundation in Brazil and fighting in all kind of street fight and, and Valley Chudo and stuff and building the splash so I can came to San Bernardino. And so that I uh, uh, laid down the foundation for people like you, my brother. Well, I will say okay, this, Bobby. Okay. He's a 27 time Jiu Jitsu champion. Well, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I don't like to chew my own horn. I just, he tends to be a little cocky. You serious? You serious, Gary? Because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, he, he's a funny yes, guy, so I don't know what to do with funny guy. Yeah, yeah. As much well, as I don't want to, as much as I, you know, don't want to blow up his ego, yeah, it's true. It's actually true. Oh, that's what's up. That's yeah. what's up, bro. Uh, like, I don't really be knowing too much about jujitsu. Like, I do it, you know, but yeah, I don't know much about the shit, you know, like so, that. I'm going to keep it 100. Let me, let me get into your beginnings, you know. Um, I got to be honest here. You know, I'm not a fan of a lot of people, you know, like, um, you know, I've been there. I did that. But I see you style. And it's funny because I can't believe that boxing was like your last you know, the, the thing that you came to after hustling. Yeah, because yeah, exactly. Because the reason why is I fell in love with your fighting style because you remind me of one of my favorite boxer. And you might think it's crazy because you think of him now, but have you ever seen a young James Tony? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> James Tony's the shit. He is. James young the shit. Rolls. Hey, young man, James the Tony. Days, back Move. in the days, he used to do some dope-ass shit. Like, I seen one video where he was doing some shit, some guy was trying to hit him. And he was making a miss, making a miss, and then he turned and looked at the camera like <laughs> he just looked yeah, at yeah. the camera like it was and, <laughs> and my brother, it's not just the attitude, it's the movement. Mm -hmm. The way that you hold with the punches. The rolling, the the, the, the the sometimes you keep in the hands low and then rock and then pot shot the guy and then move. And then and, I mean, and also the simplicity of the one two. Like, you know, sometimes you just implement a one two that's so devastating, and it's like, yeah. There's the one two has stayed in the recipe for a reason, you know? <laughs> you know, the people recipe. like complicated shit. You know, but you're doing a lot of flashy shit. But then when you hit them, you're hitting them with the, the tried and true. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, like I really try to put a lot of different things together. Like like I really looked up to uh, Muhammad Ali, you know? Yes. I like guys like James Tony, but I really like uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather too. So I got mm -hmm. like the show to roll from them. You know, taking bits and pieces from everybody, yes. from like Bruce Lee, like to say it's to like to be like water, you know. Mm -hmm. So I took a, pe a piece of that. Everyone, I took a little piece of everything, you know. Mm. It's yeah, so, so cool. And I, I yeah, go on, I go used on. to actually work when I um, I used to work for Showtime Championship Boxing. You know, some people don't know that, but before I worked for the UFC, I worked for Showtime, and so I covered a lot of James Tony fights, and like I did also the first three Vasquez Marquez fights, which were unbelievable um and i was the last person to interview diego corrales in the ring may he rest in, mm, peace. rest in peace rest in peace rest in peace rest in peace but um but yeah james tony was the shit and like his style his flow and everything about him was so cool whenever you worked a james tony fight and he always had the cigar and stuff like that and you're just like it was always something special and it was always really fun and i actually have a picture of my baby at only like five or six months with James Tony holding. No, oh, that's, which is that, so cool. You gotta so, post that one. Yeah, See, so but, but the thing I, is, yeah, she, the thing know, is, is what you cool. don't realize is this part, Karen, is that that's James Tony that we know, mm -hmm. um, but the average fan now doesn't know him. And if they really do, they know him from getting beat by Randy Couture. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? He, that's you don't right. really know him for the care for the 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 person he really is. And and he really is a brave man to back that up. Is that he's the only boxer I felt like that took the real uh, a chance at fighting a, a real MMA fighter. Yeah, he, he didn't fight some nobody. He fought a UFC champion. Yeah, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's a tough guy, man. He's he's got everything you could want. He got the attitude. He's funny. He's fucking got the defense. He got the offense. He's I mean he's he's got hard balls. Every every stuff. You could want out of a box of four. Huh? Yeah. This shit says, Bobby, you high off that green. <laughs> it's well, your last post on IG, Bobby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always smoke on my off times. You know, it's my vacation. This is what I do. Like, I don't drink. Um, I don't party. I don't uh, be at strip clubs or anything like that. I just like to have a little smoke and spend some time with my family. That's really it. You know, my homies. 
You know, I, I'm similar to you, um, except for... You don't I, like to spend time with your family. That's the truth. That's You, you stepped on the punchline, but, you know, I like to smoke <laughs> every once in a while. I smoke the greenie, but I prefer to do it without the family card, I think. <laughs> Understand? They get oh, in the bed, Jamie. So um, what, what city are you in? Big I'm York? in uh, Los Angeles, Paul. you Los Angeles. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so you got a gym you train at? I train at a lot of different gym and I'm, you know, a lot of time I'm so busy, you know, like yourself and like Karen Branch, I'm flying all over the places, you know, um, um, doing a seminars and doing a common training yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I figure so. But where, where, where's your gym right now? My gym is in Marina Valley. How far is that from LA? Um, about an hour, hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. At one of these times, I'm going to come up and I'm going to, mm-hmm. we're going to enjoy some training. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, send me an invite and I'll pull up on, on, on your gym, you know? Of course, yes. Get more down stuff, you know? It'd be cool. And listen, Bobby, if you're in Vegas, because seriously, after work on Saturday, Hanato was calling the jiu-jitsu tournament over at High Rollers. And so that's like every every chance I get, if, if there's a High Rollers event in Vegas while I'm there working, I always go over there after work because there's such cool people. And the events are Wait, always really cool. Wait, you said there's cool. sexual people? I said there's... Such cool people. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Um, but so it's me- really fun. It's really fun to go. And Hanato actually does a pretty good job calling the fight. Well, I like Yeah. Him. I always wanted to kind of do that high roller shit. That sounds kind of hey, you, would, you, you That's, that's what I'm saying. You would be perfect. Done. But see, the only problem is they only smoke blunts. And, it don't and, matter. And they smoke joints. You know, no, no, I'm like, no, man, that's kind of weak. You know, no, like, no, no, no. I don't want no, like, papers. I don't want to. Oh, you can rip whatever you want. My brother, so many of the guys smoke blunts. So many guys, they even had a, a, a thing, like a leaf blower connected to a, a, a pot like this, big, and they have it in hit tin foil and turned into like a, a makeshift uh, pipey and was blowing into people's mouth. Holy shit. I was there when like they blasted of Tyron weed. and Jorge Masvidal with the cannon, and it was insane. Yeah, oh, no. Shit. Now you you can you're gonna get enough of the weed you want for her. Trust me. <laughs> if, if, if that's what you're interested in and you like his jujitsu and grappling, it's it's a match made in heaven. You would and be, there's, and there's some good guys. You have like Jake Shields. You have Patchy yep. Mix. You know, you have these guys who's come in there and and uh, and wanna and do a good job the grappling. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool. Hey, so listen, um, Bobby, I, uh, you know, obviously the last fight that you had was against Al Iaquinta, and Al was actually a guest on this show as well. We'd love us some Al Iaquinta. Um, but that fight seemed to be completely in your command the whole time. So was that what you expected? Um, how do you feel about that? Because I know, you know, the last couple fights were close, but they didn't go your way. I'm curious to sort of like what your take was on the fight with Al. Respect. I just felt like um, from being around this season a long time that Al, like, he's been missing for a little bit, you know? And I've been in this thing for a decade now, you know, where I've seen every two to three years the, the generations change, like where, like, the wrestlers were coming in real big. And then after wrestlers, it was like jujitsu guys catching guys. Then all of a sudden, strikers came in real big, you know? And so, like, I see these different waves come. And, and the new way, the new talent, too. And, and so, like, but I realized that if you sit out too long, this shit is fast. Mm-hmm. And the way people are coming and the styles and, and and it's getting so steep that if you don't, if you're not in and you're getting not getting your touches on, on the mat, you'll go in there and, and, and be a little bit off, you know? Yeah. Call it UFC jitters. But it's just being in, on the on the biggest stages. And being used to it, you know, as, as much as possible. Yeah. So and I the felt chiming, like he's been away. The chiming is off if you haven't been in there. The chiming. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Exactly. It's, you said the chiming. Yeah. <laughs> well, not the chimes, but the chiming. The, you know, you know what I'm saying, Paul. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I, here's what I want to know: How you picked up? How you? How in that short of a time did you get to be looking like a James Tony? What 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 was it that you was just a natural or you have like a a a a, a guru of a boxing trainer? Um, a bit of both, a bit of both, a bit of both. Uh, like I've been in foster care since I was like in four four years old, and so wow. then my grandma raised me, 
and my grandmother uh, died, and so I started staying with these white folks. And the dad was a police officer, oh, and like he he could tell like that I was like like I had so much energy and I had so much stuff like growing me. I didn't have nothing to, to uh, channel it. Mm-hmm. So um, when we weren't wrestling, he sit me down in front of Ali tapes and put oh, me in front wow. of Ali, you know, and I watched Ali and I watched it. I'm like, man, I really like this guy. So. If you watch my jab, people don't realize it, but the coldest thing about me is my jab. And well, they keep thinking it's these other things, it's the jab, and it's I, from Ali. I wanted to say that, um, well, also what's from Ali, too, is the fact that he throw it below the chest. Yeah. Right. Where you can't see that shit coming. You don't see it coming. You right. don't see it coming. And then he had that movement where he's, you know, he's just out of hands, you know? Um, and that's the one thing I, I noticed is, like, a lot of, a lot of even good boxer in MMA don't utilize the jab enough, you know, mm-hmm. like exactly. in MMA for some reason. And one for thing sure. I noticed to you is you're not a, you, 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 you invest in even jabs, not just, not just left hook to the body. You, you put jabs into the body. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So that's I just feel like why more people need to put that in there. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but you know, um, a lot of guys are afraid of getting kicked in the face. You know, um, there all there are yeah. all these different rules to the game. Like yeah. in, for instance, in jujitsu, I try to tell all my guys never be flat flat on your back. You know, yeah, there's nothing really you can do flat. You know, true. You need to be having your hips moving, snake drilling out to hit something, get the and to get mm-hmm. the space to pull a yeah. sweep or to pull a move. You know, right. and so the same thing are rules for every part of, of fighting, and and so one of those rules. Hey, you you dip that way, you can dip into a kick, you know. But I feel like I'm a rule breaker. Like it, yeah. the, the rule could be this, but I could bend it a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know. Well, that that reminds me of certain like um, you know, I have some cheap, uh, tricky uh, pass to get out of somebody's close guard, and they involve you putting yourself in triangle danger for a second. Yeah. But it's like if I know that that's the one thing that's coming, then you can be prepared I don't for it. the mission, you know. You prepare for it. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, it's a, you're not supposed to, but if you know the fucking shit, you know, you can you can, you can play yeah, around with that. Bingo. But you got to know the who first before you can break that one. Well, oh, shit. and also... Lionheart, hold on. Light-skinned heart just said, uh, Brian, Brian Green is my spirit animal. <laughs> you know Bobby light-skinned Green. heart? <laughs> that's not... Well, uh, that's well and Smith. that's the thing, is that I, I do notice that you know the wor- the worry of throwing from the hip is that you don't play defense enough, right? Because your hands oh. are too low. <laughs> oh, the-, <laughs> the light skinned one. Oh man! You need more light on your light skinned self too. Yeah, you know nah, he that glowing. Light. He glowing. <laughs> you got to put some more on there. And- I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say, up, man, Anthony is my dog. Me and Anthony grew up together on Strike Force. You know. Yes. We both know about being hard iron, you know. Anthony would be the guy, same guy like me, that would come in and save the show when they have those guys that will just step up to fight. You know, we were those guys. Yeah. Hell yeah, man! I wasn't, uh, I wasn't. I, I'm hanging out with uh, some of the neighbors tonight. I wasn't gonna jump in, but once oh, you're I seen, with the neighbors. Hi, neighbors. Yeah, once I, uh, once I seen Bobby was on. That's my, it's my fucking OG dude. We go way back to like, Ugh. man, like. 2010 2009 that's what i'm saying way back way back way back man that listen when when i first came into strike force a little bit of a little bit of history about bobby green when yeah. i came into when i came into strike force bobby green was already the shit like when when we came into fighter meetings and we came we came into fight week like he he was the fucking g like that was the dude that everybody wanted to fight like and i i remember being on the undercard uh, of Strike Force events, and Bobby was he was on the main card, and he, he was he was the shit. Like, yep. when that dude walked around, appreciate it, bro. Like, pe- people knew that that dude was the shit. So, uh, I, I I just love seeing Bobby Green just doing well, winning fights, fighting his ass off. He's getting better after all these years too. Right? It's hard. To, it's hard to do when you've been in the game for a long time. People don't. Understand. It's hard. It's hard to that. do unless you're Anthony Smith. You're That's doing, the, titles you're doing shit. the same thing. You know, fighting for titles now. Big desk man now. Oh, you big time now with your fancy suits. <laughs> with your fancy suits. <laughs> right. With the right. Speaking, of fancy tiny suit. ties. Speaking of fancy suit, but when you came, you had the you had that head, that three-quarter length head head uh suit with the gold chain, no? 
Oh yep, yeah, I'll be oh up in yeah. The red see, I, I pull like, up my oh, little flash too. You know when I when I need to. Yeah, so. you came. You came like uh, like what's his name, the Bishop Don Magic Juan for him. You know what I mean? I feel <laughs> like like I'm the the Tupac of MMA. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yes. Um, like, like when yes, everybody's doing anything, I'm doing my thing a little bit different, you know. So I'm just got my own little swag, you know. It's just what I do, you know. I think anybody would agree with that. Bobby, I'm 100%. sorry, but from now on, I'm referring to you as the Tupac of MMA every single time I talk to you uh, about you, rather. Oh honor. shit! Like, hey. You know, <laughs> that's amazing. Man, you know, and it's just like I don't know. Hey, people been calling me it all the time. I just be like, oh, get someone run with it, you know. Hey, that's sticking. That's going on the desk. That's going on the that's desk. That's what I'm saying. Uh, for Bobby sure, Green, 100%. That's what I'm calling you. He's the Tupac of MMA. That's that's the shit. Man, I, uh, I've i been so happy to see your fucking success, brother. I really have. It's 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 been... There's not that many... There's not that many people, you know, that that been in the game as long as we have, at least at this at this level. It's, it's hard to... It's hard to stay at this level for a long time. There's all these young killers coming and and mm -hmm. we're, we're we got targets on our back man like you know how it is when you you, you hear when, were you here when bert was here yes of course yeah 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 and, and one thing bert used to say was it's hard to get here or it's, it's hard yeah you, you know it's easy to it's get easy here to get it's hard here. to stay, hard to stay. <laughs> you know and it's 100%. crazy that we stood long enough that we saw bert leave you know, I know. we yeah. saw him leave before we left you know i know and and, and 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 shout out to him. I love it. I love. I, I love, love that's, that's my nigga. That's my nigga, Bert. I still hit him up and talk to him. But at the same time, what I'm saying is that we stood through the test of the time. You know, how many fights yeah. you got now, big dog? Fifty three. You know what I'm saying? I'm on forty two now. You know, it's yeah. like it's like it's unheard of to be this far and to still it's have insane. our brains. You know, yeah. still have common sense. You know, mm -hmm. some of the boys on on the roster. I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be listening to y'all, and I'll be like, "You sound a little slurry," you know. And yeah. I got my teeth in, so uh -huh. that's why I sound all weird and shit, you know. <laughs> but um, like the the fact that they can't stay uh competent, like I'm just, just keep it real, Tony. Tony, you make me feel like like something's wrong. When you talking about you got something in your leg, like a computer chip, and you talking crazy oh. like that, some screws might be loose, I you know. It. Well, and, you know, and, how, and how we many, love the guy. We love the guy, but I at the same time, him. call a spade a spade. Like, hey, like sometimes you better look into retirement. Be I if, you, if I ever start losing my my mentality up here, I'm sitting it down. You know. Yeah. Well, sometimes though, you have an issue where some guys is a CTE, but you know, you have maybe some guys who is having like maybe some like chemical imbalance that have maybe even nothing to do with fighting. It's just like they 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 getting yeah. a, you know, they had some issue. You know. Well, yeah, I, I think, yeah. I, well, I think but go ahead and get punched in the brain. From... Tell me how how it's going to help you. That's true or too. It could be it. five dozen of one and one dozen of the other, whatever the fuck you call. It. Well, it's some, also some called stuff GTE. Comes from from just being hit in the head, though, like uh, brain damage, just in general. Like it's not always just CTE. Sometimes concussions and and a lot of that stuff will just change your chemical imbalance in general. Oh, for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That messes with your mood. It messes with absolutely with your happiness absolutely. in your regular day-to-day yeah. -day life. Like Bobby's seen it. You just talked and, and and I like I'm not going to call out a bunch of people, but like we all been in the game long enough. Like you've seen guys that we met when we were young and and when we were those young killers chasing the veterans mm -hmm. that you run into them every once in a while, whether it's at an appearance or, or you got a guy that's on a regional show. And then, you know, this dude's like main event in some bullshit regional show. And, and he's like, he's just not the same dude he was when you yeah. met him. You know? Yeah. And exactly. Like I, I made, I made a promise. Nigga, he's a shell. You know, he's a shell. You know, shell like, Athena was, was some of the greatest yeah. ones, you know, that like, uh, it, yeah. and, and like, it's just like, they're, uh, they're kind of gone. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, they're yeah. there, but they're not there. You know, like they may even repeat themselves. Well, you know? I've noticed it because I'm on the I'm on the interviewing side of it, and so I've seen it in people, and I've seen people decline, and that sucks. Um, I don't like to see it, but Anthony, like, it's like you know, you you and Bobby, you guys are both in the thick of it right now, right? So, like, yeah. when do you guys have you guys given yourself like have either of you guys given yourself a marker? Or a, if I don't do this by then date, like, have you guys given yourself a cutoff date to when you want to just no. stop? 
it, it's the people around you. It's the people around you. You got to have good people around you that love you and, and don't give a shit about this fight shit. It's, it's people that you got to, you got to have people that, that love you, that, that don't care about the wins and the losses and don't care about the money and, and how it affects them. So I've, I've always, you know, I got, I got three really close friends, like three of my day one homies and my wife. And the deal has always been like the day that they say, we think it's time. Like if they, if those three guys and my wife all say, Hey man, I think it's probably time we hang it up. Like we're starting to notice things are different. Yeah. You're slipping here, you're slipping there. Like I made a promise to them that when is because I trust them and I know that mm -hmm. it won't be too early and it won't be too late. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I promised that I would stop. That's a good, that's a good hole of thumb. My that dog. is good. Interesting. Interesting. So you're trying, no? so you trying, so you trying to tell me that your marker is, is, uh, is when but your people, people tell you around you might notice stuff that you won't admit to yourself. I right. think that's fair. And well, people, so care, the market well, for you is when they tell you that, that, well, what, that hey, well, they're noticing something different about you. Yeah, like, or, or, I mean, there's two things. Like, when I can't hang with the best in the world anymore, and I see it myself, mm -hmm. then, then I think that, I think that's probably time you start having those conversations. But I think as fighters, we always think to ourselves, I can push through it, or, or we may, I don't want to say we make excuses, but the, we, we make, we give reasons for the reasons, for the reasons why we're doing things. So, well, we lost. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, or like, oh, I just got. Clipped. Oh, I didn't train or, properly. Uh, right. Blah blah or blah. I was banged up, or you know, like you start forgetting. Like I know, I know guys that can't. They they can't find their fucking keys, every day. Like little mm -hmm. shit. Like I don't know where my keys are. Or, <laughs> where, oh, where that's where from the weed. I didn't mean to. That's the weed. Bobby, that's Bobby. But like, like, but if you do, they haven't seen his system. keys in years. That story about his passport, right. anyway. But like, like you can't find where you parked your car. Or you're starting to forget people's names that you should know that you've been known a long time. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the shit that that you're gonna stick in the back of your head. Like oh, I'm just busy. Like I, uh, I just right. It just slipped my mind. Like those people that have known you your whole life that are that actually give a fuck about you and they don't care about this fight shit. When they they love you whether you win, they love you whether that you lose. If if you yeah. worked at Walmart or you were a UFC Good. fighter, they don't give a shit. They just okay. they're there for you. You got those people are the ones you got to entrust in and say. If I'm slipping, you got to let me know. If, if, that's cool. if you okay. start, if See. you start seeing it, and that's that's what I did, and 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 honestly, that was kind of them. They were saying, "I feel like that's too late, bro. I feel like that's too late. No disrespect. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. I feel like I, when like, people start noticing you... it, that is too late. Well, how you else know? do you know? How else do you know? <laughs> but that's why. That's know? why. Huh? When are you gonna know? But that's what I'm saying. For me, is is to get out the game way before then. You know. I mean, that's to the get plan. up the game before then and have a goal <laughs> and hit the goal. Yeah. So, like you said, the marker. He said yeah. when when he said whenever his people tell him, "Hey, you should set it down." For me, it's a it's a marker. It's to make sure that my family. I did exactly what I said was to get this home for my family, pay for it. You know, mm -hmm. um, establish some cash that that I can still have businesses or something like that. Then after that, you can have the game. You know, that's right. really it. At the end, like that's my marker. And yeah. if I have to go a little stupid, I may have to go a little stupid, but I made this, I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice that for my marker. My marker is this and whatever I need to do to make sure that my family is going to live on or be safe mm -hmm. financially, then that's what my job is to do as their protector, you know? You know, and so that's my marker. You know, it's interesting. I was talking to Neil Magny um, mm -hmm. at the High Hollis, you know? Yep. We was having a conversation about, about uh, this subject. And he said, you know, a lot of people say, you know, I want to do this for my family and I'm going to keep doing it even if they fucked up. And he said, but, you know, like, OK, so you you may get this kind of money, but what good is that money if the if you all fucked up? You know, if you're not like, present, how, what you're good present. are you to your family if you all fucked up? Yeah, Bobby, so we want you to it, be It's here. a good it's a good uh, argument to have. I mean, you know, everybody got, yeah. to, you know. Yeah, yeah, I do agree. But this part I do agree. You may agree upon with me with, too, is that. With that money, um, your family's probably going to live in a lot of uh, a better situation where there are going to be some people that are around you around the same type of living. Therefore, uh, the chances of you having success is a lot uh, better than you being in a poor atmosphere around poor people who well, this do, is true. who do sure. different men who have different mentalities that didn't come from a right upbringing. Maybe you can like for me, I didn't I came from a poor background, but then I got with a white family. Who was a little more established and i learned mm -hmm. 
oh, well, they don't do that. They do this. This is about their culture. You know, and then I live with Mexican people. And I learned this about their culture. They're coming with together. They're really family oriented family, and, and right? blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I learned all these different things about each culture and, and it helped me. So for me, I felt like if you were, if I wasn't going to be able to be around these type of people, I wouldn't have grafted uh snatched a couple of those diamonds from those that per those people in their walks of lives, you know, from being around it. Like if you're around rich people, you're gonna be rich. You're gonna because you're gonna start to develop the mentality that they right. have, you know? Right. And so if you're around champions, you'll be a champion mm-hmm. because you train with champions and they won't let you quit. They're like, yeah. no, no, we don't do that. We do it like this. Yeah. And, and yeah. so yeah. I would rather my kids be around that environment that they can prosper yeah. more. And if that took that sacrifice of me not being there, then that was what it was willing to take to make sure that even then they still have better opportunities than if, if I didn't, if I wasn't there. My job is that, cool to be there. That's a culture thing. That's I feel like my job is too. cool to be there, but it's their job. It's, it's their mother's job to mother them and nature them. It's my job to protect and provide. That, see, that's a, that's a culture thing, too. Like, I think a lot of that has to do with how you were brought up. Like, you know, Hanato knows this. Like, my dad was, was – my, my bad. There oh. we go. My dad was a crack cocaine addict, was never around – uh didn't do shit for me so like i i feel what bobby's saying there like he left with nothing and left us nothing and kind of about to dry so i think sometimes you got guys that are in this mindset like as long as like i'll I'll run myself into the fucking ground exactly and lose and lose everything as far as who i am as a person as long as when i'm gone i leave them yeah. with a platform that they can stand on and i've seen I, it and I, and I and I feel like there there's something to be said for that. Like I, I get the other side of it where people are like, listen, you can have all the money in the world, but if they don't have a dad, then you know that 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 definitely hurts the child. But like you don't want to not have a dad and and not have a platform to stand on it. Because yeah. because listen, at the end of the day, half this world starts on third base. That's yeah. that's just the that's just how it goes. Like I didn't start on third base. Bobby didn't start on third mm. base, you know, like Mm-mm. that's like we had I to didn't. grind and struggle and fight and yeah. scratch and claw our way to every fucking thing we have. So if I can leave my kids on third base when all this shit's over with and they're already almost home, like sometimes it feels like that's enough. You know what I mean? Like and yeah. you, you love them and do as much as you can while while you can. But like if you got to lose it all to give it all, sometimes that's the the sacrifice you're willing to make. And, well, and I will say this, and, like, like, and I know as a, you know, if I'm speaking in a very sort of traditional uh, role right now, archetypal role as the woman talking to a bunch of men, but bah. thank you. Bah. And I, bah, and, bah, 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 bah. Uh, I will say that I greatly appreciate that mindset. Like, I, I, I greatly appreciate the mindset of you're going to go out and be a provider. You're going to take care of us. Of if you I went through this you're getting all the goodies. Child, like I, <laughs> what did you say? I said, of course you appreciate because you're getting all the goodies. You're getting all the free goodies for high, my expense. How is it free if I do? I'm, I'm the one taking the one to the bread kids. basket. How is it free <laughs> if, I, if I bore your child, how, that, I, how is yeah, you boring. You're not just boring my child, but you're boring me with that conversation. <laughs> God, I, hey, hey, I gotta. Hey, listen, my phone's about to die. I wanted to jump on. I had to give Bobby Green some fucking love. I yeah. love that dude. That's. I appreciate uh, that's you, my, bro. That's my. OG, it's always man. good to see you. And yeah, it was it's great. always good to see you. It was great to see you at High Hall, yeah. my brother. Right. Oh, I had a blast. I'm glad I, I had so it. much fun. Listen, I was high fun. rollers. I. This is a fun fact. I left high rollers. I didn't smoke not one blunt. I smoked zero weed, and I smashed about fifty dollars worth of Taco Bell because I had a contact high like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to avoid that one there. Yes, oh, yeah. All right, I love you guys. RB Doc. Bobby. Yes, we love you, part. Anthony. Love you, Troy Anthony. Fun, man, take care. Tell your neighbors Thanks. I said hi. I will. Peace out. We got Bobby. Honestly, I uh, didn't get that thought. I, as a woman, like I said, that's a very archetypal sort of uh, traditional role play, but appreciate the mindset that you will do whatever it takes to provide and, you know, give uh, a better life for your family. Because especially knowing, especially since, you know, since you bounced around from foster home to foster home, the fact that I would imagine that that is even more close to your heart. 
Yes, yes. Um, I was going to say something else that's really crazy is that, like, I didn't have a mom or a dad. You know, my mom gave me away when she was, like, four. She was on drugs. My dad was in prison all my life, you know, up until about 13, 14. He got out and went on with his life. But um, I don't really have any parental parental skills, you know. And it was all through trial and error. I had to learn, hey, oh, don't do that. And the, you probably yeah. shouldn't do that because I didn't yeah. really have anybody to do too much parenting. So I really wouldn't want to put too much responsibility on some person who doesn't know all the skills. But see, that's why their mothers, I picked good women who are around family and 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 are good women and, and, and can do these certain things that I trust in that they would teach my, my, my kids the right things, you know? As long exactly. as I make sure that they're that's safe and, and good, you know? That's what I do, too. I leave them 100% to the women to take care of that one. <laughs> so they can, because I, you know why? Because I believe in a strong women and I believe in their capabilities and stuff like that. And I know that they're going to give to them the best. No, you don't. Wow. Either way, I, I trust my God. I trust that he's going to take care of that one. And so my marker, my marker, I have two houses. I got one of them that just better get ready to start paying this one off. Then I got the next one and I'm done in terms of that's my marker. You know, I don't I don't yeah. want to be in the game where I'm in it so long, you know, chasing this endless dream or chasing money. You know, it's about doing art for a certain amount of time. I got what I needed from it, which was my goal. And, and I'm good. You know, I so. like that. I like that. That's great. That if you smartest. can have two houses and you just live, that's amazing. And I figured that's what the best thing I can give my kids. Like, college is cool, but it also comes with a lot of debt, you know? It's not and for everybody, too. It's not for everybody. Yeah. And it so, wasn't for people, huh? as long as I can give them a place that they have a house that they don't really have to pay any bills on except for mm -hmm. the property taxes for the end that's of the year. That's amazing. You yeah. know, you're setting them up start. to win. That's amazing. Because yeah. that's such a worry people have of paying for where they live. That That's amazing if you can take that worry away. Yeah. So that's supposed to be my marker. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, well, listen, Bobby, I wanted to do a thing with you. I wanted to ask you some questions. You know, um, I used to do a thing called No Wrong Answers. And um, just to kind of get to people to know you better, because it's cool. Like, the thing about you Wait, is... And is that is that your vibrator case? <laughs> like, the, like, it's like, look like a velvet uh, bag for your vibrator. Oh, uh, I saw the little velvety on. It's a... It's a bag that I got in Singapore, actually. On oh. my, remember when we Likely used to get story. to travel before COVID? Yeah. Um, on my second trip to Singapore, because I had actually gone there a long time ago, and it's an amazing place, and I could... That's actually a place I could live. I could see myself there. I like Singapore. But um, I, I have you a bunch put of it in lingerie or something. I was like, whoa. Oops. Yeah, Zash, what you got in there? <laughs> I you got excited. <laughs> it's just a bag of like random questions. You thought and it was so, head like, panties night. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead. I just feel like Bobby, you know, you have been around, you've been in strike force, you've been in all these and it's crazy because when I looked back on some things like I was at so many of your other events, like the night when Fedor fought uh Arlovsky, I was there. And so like I was oh. at that affliction show and I was at these things and and and, and I wanna maybe get to this afterwards because I looked up and I tweeted it and maybe you saw it earlier. Um, our first interview, which was in 2013, um, and you beat Volkman. You like submitted Volkman or something, and uh, and so it's really cool to look back and to see that history. And you had just gotten to the UFC, and it's really cool. But I feel like you've been around a long time, but at the same time, people don't know you as well as they could. So these are yeah, just these yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Ra random, random questions. Okay, so Let's here's do it. Let's here's. Do it. Uh, Going in the bag here. So here is, um, oh, okay. What was the, I know this is going to be backwards, but what was the worst fight experience you ever had? Worst fight experience. Because we know you used to fight in ballrooms in the Inland Empire. We know okay. you Okay. Okay. I've had two. Okay. I've had two in 40 fights that I'm like, that was pretty bad. Um, <laughs> One of them, I was fighting. I was the Kenny Cage champion. I was the 160 belt champ. Um, and I was fighting this one guy named Tim Means. Tim Means is oh, the course. UFC. Oh, yeah, was before the UFC. That's the but, dirty uh, party. Yeah. The dirty bird. Yeah, exactly. And so um, we were supposed to fight. 
And then uh, me and my ex were engaged, and we called off the engagement and got into a Was big this breakup. Tiffany or? No. Before Tiffany. Yeah, yes, way years ago, years ago. And so uh, I ended up telling the promoter I'm not going to fight or whatever, and I, he says I'm still, supposed to still, uh, he's still trying to make me do it anyway. They're supposed to cancel the show. What, so this whole time I've been drinking and smoking and just being wild, you know. And I thought I'd go do the fight anyway. And Dirty Bird went in there and just took my head off. So the bad experience was this, was that, like, right from the beginning, the right at the beginning of the fight, the first punch he landed broke my nose. Ah! The first punch he broke. But I forgot to mention before that, uh, I forgot my mouthpiece. <laughs> and so I left my mouthpiece. Oh. We had to go get, like, a little boiling bite. Oh, Turns yeah. out it didn't stay, uh, didn't melt enough to like even form. Oh, so yeah. um, I'm like, fuck it, I'll just keep my mouth closed, you know? So the first punch of the fight breaks my nose. I can't breathe out of my nose. You can't keep the that mouthpiece shit of down. shit. Yeah, I can't breathe out of my mouth. And so I mean, I'm in for a hell of a night. So oh. I'm, I'm still getting them. So now that like, he kind of woke me up, I started taking them down. But um, the problem is, Dirty Board's like 6'4. You know, oh, he's tough. And we're fighting in these little bitty fucking cages. So wherever I was taking him down, he was able to put his put his feet on the on the cage and jump his big ass off the cage and like do it like a flip and just do a real weird flip out of it, you know? And he's and he strong too. on top like, of me. Farmer strength. Yeah. Farmer yeah. strength. And so I'm kicking his butt the whole round, but right at the end of the round, he do that flip thing over and land on top of me. Um, so I would I couldn't breathe when I was standing. I'd take him back down, spit my mouthpiece out, punch and breathe a little bit. But then by the time we got back up, they would make us put the mouthpiece back in. Right. So then the, by the end of the round, he kept on getting on top and he landed a couple elbows. So then we got to the second round, got to the top. And at the end of the second round, he landed a couple elbows that one of them split my forehead open, you know, and gave me a concussion. So I got a broken nose, a concussion, blood all in my eyes. Yeah. It was just it was just a long freaking night. I got embarrassed in front of everybody that came down to the show. Like all oh, my family came for the first time to watch a fight. Yeah, it was yeah, That's so that was probably one of the worst, worst experiences. That's, That's a, sorry. Worst when you finally bring the family and then oh God. I had two ex girlfriends come and they both came in the hospital and one was on this side and one was on this side. God, that Who are you, so Cowboy bad. Olivera? Oh, hey, it man. could be worse. And hey, so I had to fake sleep like I was hurt. Oh! Like, trying to fake sleep like, oh, I'm like, oh, oh God, like, oh, that, see, that needs to be in a fucking movie, Bobby Green. Man, those were the days. That those needs to be in a days. movie. That's amazing. You got two of the fucking baby mamas or whatever, and then you're like, oh, God, I, oh. <laughs> oh, my back. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. And not though that's a that's a page out of your book if I ever saw. That one. is that is something I, I'm surprised he didn't learn that one, one from me, po, huh? Now and it's funny because it, 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 the, he's another guy. He's yeah. one of those guys you probably I never seen. He never fought for the title, no, Jim Means. But he's one no, of those guys. He's so good. He's one of those guys where you don't want to miss a Jim Means fight, no matter he's what. So good. He's, no, he's more tough. favorite. Than watching some of these other guys that's yeah. got a belt, you know. I love the Dirty Bird, and if I'm if Always. I'm honest, uh, whoever he fights, like we were at, I think he was on the same card as Anderson Silva, his last fight with Uriah. If not, it was a different one. It, it was anyway. But Tim was fighting somebody, and like all of us at work, we always root for the veterans. Like we like. If it's a veteran versus a new kid, you know what I mean? Like, we always are rooting for the veteran at work. That's just how it goes. Yeah. And so Tim was fighting somebody new, and we might like this new kid, but, like, we're rooting for the dirty bird. You of know course. what I mean? And yeah, so yeah. it was one of those. And I think I even did a story on it because I remember, like, all of us were just like, big up to the veterans. Yeah. Like, we always. Yeah, he's a, he's a junkyard dog. You got to love he those He's a kind junkyard of dog. He really is. Yeah. He was tough as nails. He was long. He was hitting hard. He just gave me a hell of a night, you know. And my hats off to him. He he beat me up that night, you know. I felt I still won the fight, like I got the best of him. Yeah. But he just ended up finishing me up, and he won. So it yeah. is what it is. But okay, on, a, okay. on a positive note, oh, go ahead, go ahead. 
No, I'm the next question the, is. The, the second question. Next question. Uh, Matrix Keanu Reeves or John Wick Keanu Reeves? Interesting. Interesting. I'm curious which one people prefer because I have a preference, but I'm curious because they're. I, I mean, would say, I would say, I guess I'm going to go with John Wick because Matrix is like, don't get wrong, like too like nerdy, geeky. I'd probably say John Wick is more like down earth type of chill kill guy, you know? Chill kill. You I, know? I Not like, like, oh, I'm a robot and I punch. You a thousand punches, do, 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 do. and then I but do a bunch of karate. a robot in the Matrix. I'm just, well, I mean, you got the little suit guys. They're like robots. Um, you know what? I'm I'm gonna split the difference on this one. Uh, because I think that the Matrix may be a better movie. You know, but yeah. John Wick a better character. Yes, there we go. You know, we're just talking about the character. We're not talking about the movie. No, That's I'm true. just saying which channel the, do you prefer? Because I personally prefer. Her, hello. I prefer Matrix Keanu. Like I prefer that character. I thought Neo. You mean was clean cooler. cut and, and I, like I that? Ne but I, Neo I is he trying maybe to? It's, maybe it's because I like the Matrix movies more than I like the John Wick movies. But I just thought. I mean, I just thought Matrix Keanu was cooler. Or Matrix maybe Keanu it's because you like clean, clean cut man versus hairy man. Yeah, but he. She also liked the dumb Keanu, like from the from the Bill and Chad. Like he's like, I know Kung Fu. <laughs> you know that baby kind of face shit. guy. <laughs> yeah, like I know Kung Fu. <laughs> I know the chosen. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but you, the other John Wick have some more balls, and he fuck everybody up, and he don't care. He know he he. You know what I'm he, saying? He, he been yeah, through a lot. Yeah, but Neil messed everybody up too. Yeah, yeah, uh, but he was still like. Oh, uh, he was all excited about everything. <laughs> Plus, he was scared. He was hunting around in the, the cubicle. <laughs> at least John Wick is like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? And John at, at least John Wick did some jujitsu. Like, I saw him like put somebody like in a triangle or True. something, you know? True. A lot of that stuff. You, you know? know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and it's then like shoot a little somebody more real. in the triangle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he put somebody in the triangle, then he shot his head. Why he was in the triangle? Was exactly, like, oh, exactly. And he have a he have the animals and stuff. He liked to look like that black. Cat. <laughs> That's what oh Yeah, Hanato always has to have some pee around him. Yeah, well, um, well, it, but you know, it's not just black pussy like this one. All the all pussy is attracted to you, Uncle Hanato. <laughs> Holy you crap! You know, speaking of jujitsu in movies, and speaking of black pee, Black Panther. I do remember when I saw that in the theater and that great scene when they're having the fight and he has, this, you know, his jujitsu basically when they're what, at the top. What they have to do with Keanu Reeves? What? What the ha they have to do with Keanu Reeves? It doesn't have anything to do with Keanu Reeves, but it has to do with jujitsu in movies. Oh, I thought we was already on moving on from that one. We are moving on. Whatever, Bobby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Bobby. I, you know, I can't. This, you know how so, it is. This guy's the man. This guy's the man. I like him. He's dope. See, I am so. I'm sorry. very likable. You know, I'm. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Don't be so, sorry. This is a question I actually love. We're, we might do more than three because this is just fun. Uh, and I always maybe think of this as as other fighters, but um, it could be action heroes or whatever. But, like, what three people would you put on your zombie fighting team? If the zombies come and take over, who's on your team? Okay, but it's a fight show, so I'm not going to say no other athletes. I'll probably say, and so I have to put this, and we're going to kick zombie ass? Yeah, oh, you guys are effing the zombies up, for sure. Okay. Who's on your team? What three, what three fighters or whomever are you taking with you to go kick some zombie ass? If I got to pick three. I'm going to pick Nate Diaz. I was just about to say that. You know what I mean? That's my dog. And he don't get tired. He don't get tired. He's like, he going to be sleeping all, all night. That, that would be that everyone's number one pick. Yeah, I'm getting Nate. He don't, he, don't get, he don't get tired. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to get Dominic Cruz. You know, that's my really? dog, too. He got the greatest footwork, so they're going to be able to get him. He'll they be breaking be, through. They, they're not going to get their hands on him. Yeah, he'll be moving. You know, so that's my mover. I got my hitter. 
you know, and then Izzy going to come through. I'm going to use Izzy out of Sanya, you know, to come through with the, with the long legs and just sleep them off from a distance, you know. That's, good, that's my snipe shooter, you know. That's a good That's a good pick there. That's good. Hanato, who would you take? Well, he already stole Nate Diaz. I guess I guess you got to you got to came also with the Korean zombie because there's a reason why he's named that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you understand? God, I, I'm trying to think of who who he going to take a couple bites. He's going to be able to take it. He's going to have like anti venom or something. Yeah. Can't well, be, yeah, he can't be poisoned. He can't be zombified by that one. <laughs> who is and also who have the biggest hardest head who you can't See, rock? I know who I want. Okay, give me the one. I know I'm forgetting somebody. Okay, so number one for me is Robbie Lawler. Hobby Lawler. Yeah, I could see that. Because Robbie don't give up. And no. he's just going to go. He's just going to keep coming forward. Like I've always said, like Robbie's just going to keep coming forward. And he can take it, and he's just going to keep coming. Oh, you know who's he's somebody? Human, I, he's a human. I am, no, what's that uh, metal man? Yo, what's that metal man guy from, from Marvel? Oh, oh. Colossus? Colossus, yeah, Colossus. like well, that. Of course. Hey, look, if we're going into that shit, there's a lot of people. Well, no, no, no. So but I wait. got Robbie, okay. then I got Gaethje. Okay. Because Gaethje no is just going to go, 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 go. Yeah, going to go sleep. Yeah. Right. And then I'm going to take somebody like a Tiago Maheta, Tiago Santos. But that's because you think he's fine. <laughs> you want to hang out with him while those guys just fight the zombie. And you no, guys want to listen to Keith Swatch, and and, and also <laughs> you guys want to listen to Mint Condition. No, he was a listen. paratrooper in Brazil. I he know he was. He's not afraid. Yeah, I know he's, he's not afraid. Giant. He's like six six or six four. That's why he's you also giant. like he have the big hands, for him. He can and kick he the got crap the hammer. Out of, he can kick the crap out of everything. <laughs> he can punch the crap out of everything, and he's not gonna be afraid. He's not gonna be afraid. Yeah, he's I know. Gonna, you're not going to be afraid either if you have that one. <laughs> so I think I have a pretty solid team. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I don't know if your team got nothing on mine, though. That's Yours is good, though. Bobby. I'm not going to lie. You know, we got a tactical team. You got like, you got just a bunch of, of army just killers, but we're going to just go in. We're going to move around. We can play different roles. You can't. You're you just right. got to. No, Listen, but you know who's the person? Who but who are you it, taking, Hanato? In, in terms of the last pick for me, in terms of I've never seen this guy have a Jerry curl, and he never, he, I seen the, him get the shit kicked out of him by Kornikov or Kornikov or whatever, like for like five home, get the living shit kick out of him. And then after the fight, even though he got beat the fuck up, you, it looked not one mark on there, never was he in trouble or whatever, and he's just have that hair. It's a Benson <laughs> Henderson. <laughs> he's still he's still having the truth pick the truth pick <laughs> he, look, he got the shit and, I mean he can kick flush in the face he getting beat the fuck up and he don't even have a swelling on there I don't know what the fuck he's made of man I think it's the Jerry curl crazy. Yeah, I think the crazy. chemical from the Jerry curl is getting there that's the Hawaiian silky I don't know if it's the Asian you know the South Korean anymore you know, I never seen anything like it in my entire life. I I don't understand it. I don't understand it either. You're right. That's a good. You never good point. seen him with so much as a puffy eye. I, I I don't understand. And his skin color is beautiful. Well, take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. Yeah, <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, Bobby. One last question, and then we'll let you go. What is your absolute favorite combination to throw? Yeah. Mm. Uh. Okay. Uh, it is uh, oh. Ooh. Okay, I say a one two, or but or a two one, which is like we go uh, like my my score. We call it an up jab. It's not exactly a jab. It's not huh? an uppercut. It's in between both of the two. Mm. It's okay. like a diagonal. Jab. Yes. Yes. Exactly. I like it. Yeah. I'm telling you, my brother. I'm not just making this up from the. Because I usually host people. I don't usually give them compliments. I, I'm i always been telling people. Oh, about, man, I thought he said fan. host people. Like, I usually host, like, a host of shows. No, I host no, them, like, a few hours and a little while. Yeah, roast. Yeah. And my brother, I'm telling you, I, I'm always so 
intrigued by the way you strike. You know, it, it's it, it's very fun to watch. It's very it's it's unique. It's like you bring the artistry, and and it's never win, lose, or draw. It's always gonna be exciting. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate yeah. that. You know, that's what it's all about for me is just being an artist. You know, really giving out some good content. I just tell people I'm an artist. I paint a painting. You I know, my it. my style's called poetry in motion. You yes. know, it's just poetry in motion. You know, that's and I want you to be is. able to like it, what you see, and you can watch it again. You know, yeah. and 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 if you like it, I really appreciate that, bro. You know, if you I don't, I'm it. sorry, I work on I, it. You know, I tell you what, I love even more too is that afterwards you always trying to 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 tell the people the young people and everything to believe in themselves yeah and you're, you're always, so positive you're always you know you see a lot of fighters these days who make a lot of money you know and then they make all the young people feel like you ain't shit until you got this money to sprinkle a hound like this or you know you look at my bugatti look at all this shit but you always make a point to say i had nothing i was sleep the concrete I was, you know, I didn't have a mom. I didn't have a dad. I didn't have this. And I still was able to do this. So there's a way to do this. You know, maybe it's not going to happen for everybody, whatever, but there's a way that it can happen, you know? Yeah. And, and even though some people might look and go, oh, yeah, well, that's nice to say, but not everybody. It's important. There's a lot of kids who pay attention to that shit and they hear that. And it, you never know. It might be, you know, you, you never know who what who that's hitching, you know? Yeah, yeah. Even if, if I grab one or two, you know what I mean? Then, then I did my job, you know? That's the way I look at it, you know? But at the end of the day, like I said, it's just me trying to spread positivity, you know, and inspire people, uh, you know? Um, if I can just get uh, one or two people that I impact in a different way and then get them to understand something that, that they can. Like you said, it's not possible for everybody, but... It is possible for whoever works the hardest, you know, yeah. if you really work hard. And, and that's what I'm about. I'm the uh, the epitome of never give up or never yeah. quit. You know, I've seen that's a lot of dark days, yeah. but I never quit. I got put down. If they put me down seven times, I got up eight. You know, yeah. if they put me down eight, I got up nine. You know, yeah. so so that's what it's really about. Is just telling people to keep getting up, you know, keep trying. And Bobby, he remind me of this. It's like, you know how every year, every whatever Olympic, there's always somebody breaking a hacker, you know, that you thought was never going to get broken. Yeah. yeah. And it's only because we've seen it. You know, it's like you've seen somebody do it, then somehow you can do it, you know? And it's like all somebody needs to see is like, I can relate to that guy and I see that he did it. I can visualize this fucking guy did it, you know? And he have the exact same story that I have. So if I can see him do it, I can't. But before they seen you do it, they go, man, you know, maybe this guy had a hard life, but he didn't have right. both parents gone. And, you know, maybe, you know, he didn't have lived in San Bernardino or he didn't have the gang thing or he didn't have this, that or the other thing. But they see all that shit you ever overcame and yeah. all even your grandma passing away and, the, the, you know, living with a white family and being out of place and all this kind of fucking shit. They can relate to that and go, that's my guy. He did yeah. it. I can do that shit, you know? Yeah, I yeah. It. I love and meanwhile you're also always show up everywhere looking like a stone cold pimp. Wow, that's like, showing out. That don't and hurt either. For her. it too. That don't hurt. <laughs> I mean, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of you know, Bobby Green before I came you got on so the scene. So much flash, I love it. Bobby Green before I came on the scene, a lot of there was a stigma for people who was fine as hell to be in the fight game. <laughs> you know, they thought that they had to be H and B singers. You know, they thought they had to be Chico the Barge or <laughs> the Barge. Uh, I'll be sure. <laughs> you understand? Half trust Vanch. Yeah, man. You understand? And then they see this and they go, these fine, young, light-skinned brothers could see that and they go, God, are you? Man, this guy God, fine as hell. This guy, this nigga fine as hell. <laughs> if he's going to be that fine and he's doing this, maybe maybe someone fine as hell can find his way in this fight game too, God, are you? And that's if I can if I can influence just one of these kids who's look like that, then my work is done, my brother. See, you in the right game. You you don't get punched in the face. It's cool. Well, you do jujitsu. He should. Know? Yeah, I used to, but now you know I I had a lot of nice uh, head movement and stuff like that too. So God, I, <laughs> he should. Yeah. He should. Hey, but listen, Bobby. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations on the awesome win at Madison Square Garden. It was so. It was just you looked awesome, and 
um, you know, uh, it's just been really fun having you around. And it's so cool that you're just improving still. Like you've been in the game for a while now. And like, it's just like, you still just seem to be leveling up and it's just really cool to see. And your positive messages um, are always so well received. And I, I just really love to hear it. So thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, and stay positive and stay well. And, you know, I hope, I hope we see you fight again soon. Man, it's an honor and a blessing to be here with you guys. I really don't like to do too much of the interviews and TV. I feel weird speaking and stuff like that, but I'll have fun with some people that I know, you know? Yeah. And so yeah. thank you for having me on your show. You're going to have even more fun if you follow me on uh, Instagram, me, uh, Renato Laranja. And yeah, I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you, bro. I don't follow many people. If you look like I follow like 30 people, you know? Well, I'm going to so, show you, and then you, 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 you're you going to enjoy this one because if you like You it, should follow him. Yeah, send me a little text so I can find you. It's going to uh, happen. Yeah, and I'll, I'll plug you in. I really don't be doing too much on this Instagram stuff. So. I'll send you this link. Okay, cool. All right, bye. All right, guys. Okay. Take care, my brother. I need a Oh, he's not going to know Bobby. how. Oh, okay. He did it. How uh, cool is Bobby? Wow. Well, listen, you know, it was important for me to be able to. Um, to inspire this young blood. He inspires so many people. He inspires so many youth out there and to be able to give him the inspiration. Well, I don't know if you inspired him so much, but- Well, I'll let him to be the judge of that. Okay, okay. Hey, listen, I have noticed, and yet we talked about this before, that if I um, start, st start, Stop and restart. Yeah. Um, it is better for our edit. And I hate the idea of losing anybody. We've got some good fans here with us now. And I hope if I stop and start right back up, we just jump back on. But it helps me with the edit. Yeah. Because I then right put now. these on YouTube and I, it, it okay. really helps. Let me talk to them in a way they can understand. Everybody Thank you. Please here. Please do that. Okay. We're going we're gonna to get off for one second. And we're going to start a new one. Hide away. Right now. So that she don't have a seven hour fucking thing to edit when she put it back on YouTube. Oh, God. wait a sec. Look, my I was voice. just trying to be like, like that sexy girl on like, on like, uh, on like Price is Right. I was just, oh, I see that. You. But you was, you know what you was, you was doing it. You remind me of Zool from, from, uh, you remind me of Sigourney Weaver. From Go fucking uh, 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 so are the you the maker? Are you you're the, back are you there the going gatekeeper? no more, no more Karen, only Zool. God, are you Zool? I'm gonna yeah. levitate from oh, everything. God, are you oh. don't, don't open my fridge. Oh, Zuli, oh, Zuli, you, you <laughs> are you the key master? Yeah, you're, I, I am the key master, and you're the gatekeeper. I got a, I got an idea where the key gonna win in there. Oh, God, are you. okay. Let's hang okay. up and start over. So if you want to hear more about the key master and the gatekeeper and shit, we're going to start over, okay? God, I uh, one, two, three, four.